Welcome to another personal training tutorial for you from aotraining.net. The sum if function in Microsoft Excel deals with two ranges and one criteria or one condition. So in these examples we'll be looking exclusively at two ranges of data but one criteria to filter them. Some if, as you can see, we have in a text box here, and you can download this workbook, um, by the way, from our website above this video tutorial. Just click the download link. The sum if function deals with two ranges, as you can see. First of all, we look into this range, and in this range we're going to ask, does everything that meets or that is a towel, if it is a towel or towels, then sum the data in this range. And our formula is very simple. It just simply is equals sum if, open brackets, and then as you can see here, it asks us for our range. Microsoft is very intuitive, so we'll put in our range. And the sum if, if function, the ranges must be equal in length because we're going to be adding across. So we need them to be equal. They can't be two different sized ranges. Now we're going to put in our criteria. You see here we need our criteria. What's our criteria? It's a text criteria, so we need to put it in double quotes, and it's tails. Again, we're asked for a comma, which we'll put in, and then our second range, which is here, our quantity. And now all we simply need to do is close our bracket and hit enter. And it tells us that we have seven. And we could change that to something else if we wished. If we wanted it to be washes, for instance, we see it's 112 is the quantity. A very useful function, and this can work on vast amounts of data. All right, well, let's move along. The next thing, what do we do if we want to just extract a part of a string? We don't want it all, we just want a part of it. Say, for instance, we want to look for products that contain the word towels. So here we have towels and hand towels. We want both of those. Well, our formula is very, very simple. It's just simply equal sum if, open bracket, and then our first range product, comma, and now we're dealing with text again, so yes, double quotes, but this time put the wild card in, in front of it, and then type towels. Now we want to put a wild card again and finish with double quotes and a comma. And that finishes our criteria. It's going to look for anything that contains towels. If we, if we, um, were to leave off the last wildcard, it would do anything that started with towels. But we want anything that contains it. And our second criteria now can be put in. And close our brackets and hit enter. And it's 106. We of course now have towels here. Hand towels here. Towels and hand towels here. Hand towels here. Alright, that's very basic, isn't it? All right, well, what do we do now if we need to do sum if based on an operator? In other words, equal to, greater than, less than, and so on. How do we do that? We want to find data, say for instance, in this column, we want to sum all, everything that has a quantity of equal to or greater than 50. Well, our formula is there for us to see. It's a very simple one. And again, we put in our range here, our first range. This time we're going to put in a, a operator, so we're going to put double quotes in again, and here's our operator. Always start with the greater than. You don't need to put equal to if you want, but you can, and we'll say 50, and our double quotes, comma, and our second range under cost. Goes in here, close brackets, enter. And there we have our data highlighted there for you in yellow. All right, one last one that we can look at here, which is of interest, and this is probably more to real life of what we would be doing. 
We may have a vast amount of data in a lot of categories here, but we want to see the total amount or the quantity or how much someone owes, whatever it might be, based on, say, the quantity of um, um, whatever it might be. Let's say towels here. Or it might be we want to see washes. But how do we make that variable? So we put in a data validation list here. Now you had know how to do that. You just create a simple uh, named range and then go into data validation and put this list in. And that's another tutorial shows you how to do that. So we're not going to do that here. But here's the data validation list and we can change this around here. And we want this quantity to change when we change this cell. So all right, well, what are we going to do? Well, we're just going to simply put in our formula. It goes, uh, we're into this box. We'll do it up here in the formula bar so it won't get in the way. Equals, and we'll put sum if. Open brackets and we'll scroll for our first range, which is towels. And it's here. Put in our comma, and then just simply the criteria. Well, it's always going to be this cell, the cell reference, put in comma, and our second range. Isn't this so easy and so versatile? And close brackets and hit enter. Now, every time we change our data validation list, our figure will represent exactly the quantities. Now, we're doing this on a small range, but imagine this on a massive spreadsheet with a massive amount of data. And how quickly you can filter through categories for either quantity or list. And in fact, the real deal would be that we would probably not just be looking up towels, we'd be looking up the quantity, the cost and the customer right across the top of our sheet. And so we could quickly filter that data. This is Trev from aotraining.net. Thank you once again for listening and thanks for joining us.